call the real estate agent. She'll be here at four for the appraisal. Oh, we should probably paint before we put the house on the market. And hire one of those stagers. You're selling our house? Did I miss the memo? We were gonna tell you tonight. We just wanted to iron out some details first. But, but I love this house. It's like part of our family. It's time to move on. So what are these details? Well, we thought uh, you'd uh, spend weekends with me at my condo and weekdays with your mom. We'll find a place nearby the school. We can pick it out together. Great. We've got it all figured out. Should I start packing up my room? Um, well, that might not be a bad idea. Your dad brought a van to move some stuff over to his place. Stop saying things that you don't this is really happening, isn't it? Afraid so. Don't expect me to agree. You don't You're need throwing this out. Got so much stuff in this house. You taught me to tell time on this. We can't take everything clear, Bear. Sometimes change is good. You don't have to lie to me again. You don't have to try to be my friend. You don't have to tell me that you're better off alone. Hey. Uh, hey, Claire. I uh, didn't see you at church this weekend. It's family stuff. Yeah, I heard about that. We said a big prayer for you. That's... Ah, uh, that's, that's very nice. Thank you. It must be hard watching your family crumble around you. Anytime you want to talk. Huh. Okay. Gotta love Jesus Club. Six months ago, I would have said the same thing. And now? The world is a little less black and white. My mom and dad are selling the house and separating. Why do I have to suffer because they fell out of love? Maybe you won't have to. There's this kid I knew growing up. His parents got divorced, moved to separate apartments, but he stayed in the house. His parents went back and forth. So he had one bedroom, one set of stuff. Think your parents would go for it? They are feeling pretty guilty for putting me through this. Thanks. I can always count on you. That's me. You're a rock. <laughs> I brought something you might like. Vintage. Maybe Jesus Club can take on your locker as a humanitarian disaster. <laughs> okay, bye. I have a proposal. Uh-oh. That's what Darcy said when she wanted to go to Africa. Don't worry, I don't want to go anywhere. Phew. I want to stay here, in this house. And which one of us would stay with you? Both. Claire, no, not like that. You two would be the ones to go back and forth. One week on, one week off. Well, I don't know. Other families do this. I just don't think it would work, Claire. This place has too many memories. So you won't even consider it. Claire, your mother and I, we need a fresh start. So what I need doesn't matter? Honey, we're just trying to do what's best for our family. What family? Darcy is gone. You two are separating. The house is the only family I have left. Claire, where are you going? Or well, someone actually cares about my opinion. You cried so hard, we nearly had to leave, you little brat. <laughs> yeah, because most six-month-olds love Metallica concerts. <laughs> yeah, but when the music started, your tantrum started to look like headbanging. All metalheads around you started imitating you. It was your first mosh pit, baby. <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm Claire, by the way. This is Claire. Well, welcome. <laughs> they call me the bullfrog. <laughs> this is Cece. Oh, we heard all about you. Please. Okay. I hope you don't mind me interrupting your family dinner. No. 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 We were just telling the story about how Eli wrecked Lollapalooza. <laughs> so. 
brings you to the steakhouse. Well, I just, I couldn't handle being around my parents. Hey, it's none of our business. If you need a place to crash, our house is your house anytime. Wow, thank you. It's nice to know there's a guest room with my name on it. Yeah, no guest room. Excuse me? Dad. <laughs> We've been trying to get a girl into Eli's room for a while now. <laughs> Dad. He even has a double bed in there. Hey, Mom. Could you give me and Claire a moment alone? Young love. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about CC and Bullfrog. Well, they sure are interesting. Were your parents serious about me staying in your room? Well, um, they just assumed since we've been dating that for... we have sex? Why would they think that? It's just that, um, well, Julia... Your old girlfriend? Yeah, she, she, had, a, she had a lot of uh, problems with her stepmom, so... She stayed with us. Like, with you, with you. I didn't even know you existed yet. You know I'm not having sex until I get married. I got the memo. Does it bother you? It's not my favorite thing, but that's what's gotta be. We're really different, aren't we? Opposites attract. And get married and have kids and get divorced. Claire, we're not your parents. Call you later. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. 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 Okay. So who wants to rap first? Claire, what's on your mind? My parents. I used to count on them for everything. They taught me right from wrong. Told me divorce was bad. Sex before marriage was a sin. But now they're getting divorced. They say they're too different. And I asked, were they always different or did something change? And they said that they were always different, but hoped that they would grow together. Jesus is always there for you. If Jesus loves me so much, why does he want me to go through this? It's all part of his plan. His plan sucks. Excuse me, who are you? Just a guy trying to have a rational discussion. He's just trying to help me figure things out. Have a nice lunch. Claire, wait. <laughs> I bet you loved that. St. Clair is a crisis of faith. I'm losing everything I love. Not me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, good, you're home. Yeah. Home. I need you to sort through this. Why? What's the point? Oh, come on, Claire. We need to decide what to hold on to. Why don't we go through it together? Ah, uh, well, this one's definitely a keeper. Yeah, I'll put it on my new trophy shelf. Oh, uh, we'll find a nice place for these things, I promise. Oh, like this one. The week Dad took me and Dar skiing in Maine. It was so fun, you should have been there. I don't ski. Would have been silly. You could have taken lessons. <laughs> That's what your dad always used to say. He did everything he could to get me on the hill. Well, you could still take lessons. Even if I did, we'd be going down different hills. <laughs> I 
wish I hadn't been so afraid to take a risk. Well, it's too late for regrets. I have to go, Mom, right now. Claire? Claire? Hey, what are you doing here? I want to spend the night with you. Throw your bike in the hearse. Why? I'll drive you home. Look, I don't want to go home. I want to be with you. You don't have to do this. I want to. Don't you? You have beliefs. This isn't who you are. I don't know who I am. I don't know anything. But I know that I want to be with you. What is this? Nothing, I'll drive you home. No, no, you know what? I get it, Eli, don't bother. This life is carved in you. Your beauty lies in these eyes. Cause I can see the truth.